and this is a Jabiru equipped Europa 159 Hotel Romeo. This uh, aircraft was modified at uh, Custom Flight Creations for cooling and the Jabiru we're going to go up and test fly and make sure that everything is set for the customer to come pick up the aircraft. 159 Hotel Romeo has a complete set of wheel pants, speed kit, and has been left a little dirty so we're in need of a polish job after sun and fun. The aircraft is equipped with a very good VFR panel. That's a Garmin 296 that's in that right now. Of course it'll take any of the Garmin series. Autopilot by TrueTrack. Airspeed indicator by Winter Altimeter. Dynon D10A. Becker Radio Transponder. And of course an EIS Grand Rapids engine monitoring system. The aircraft has a cavernous baggage area that is well equipped, well pointed, and there's a small, uh, almost unusable sight gauge in the back for determining how much fuel you have prior to takeoff, and we're about three quarters of a tank. It also has a gas gauge in the aircraft, and that works very well also. Just started up the engine, allowing it to warm up here a little bit. EIS, it's idling at about 940 RPM. And once she warms up, we'll get back down to about 7 to 800 RPM. We're going to turn out to the runway differential braking using hand brakes. Hand brakes and a little bit of rudder, that's all that's necessary. Taxiing out nice and easy. Don't like to take off until I'm above 200 on my cylinder head temperatures. This is the highest cylinder head temperature. We'll get her up to 1600 RPM, 1580, quick mag check, note there's no drop. Mag check's good, drop is a fixed pitch, choke is off, brakes, fuel pump, auxiliary on, flaps up, doors closed, harness tight, engine instruments check, controls check, flights Controls coming around, checking everything even, checking the flaps are in the up position. Plant City traffic, 159 Hotel Romeo is taking the, the active runway 10 for a 15 minute test stop. Differential braking, running her up. 242 on the cylinder heads, perfect. Clear, clear, clear. Line up on the runway. Compass headings are good. Squawking. Running up for takeoff. Engine's looking good. All the oil temps. Pressures. We should be looking at about 2,750. Stick is virtually windsock is calm, so we've got about 800 feet down the runway, and we're airborne. Airborne was at uh, 55 to 60 knots. Lower the nose, trimming it up. Like to get the nose down to about 90 knots. And the reason for 80 to 90 knots here is uh, visibility over the nose. Engine looking good, everything's still looking good. Nice flying airplane. You fly the airplane with no hands. Absolutely beautiful, typical Europa. I'm going to turn down the uh, radio just a little bit. Highest temperature, 291. For those of you suffering with a Jabiru, note that uh, climbing out at 90 knots. 87 here, 91, 92 there. There's a bit of a difference between the two, and I'm not going to work it out. Vertical velocity is right at about 1,000 foot per minute, and you can see by the altimeter we're already through 1,500 feet. Airplane trims up beautifully. You can see 
I'm, I'm, you know, just hit a couple of clicks of trim. I'm going to get a big updraft here and there. I'm going to throttle back now to just allow the airplane to start accelerating out instead of leaving it up at full throttle. This airplane cruises quite nicely at about 2750. That's where I like to cruise the Jabber. I know there are guys that cruise at 2900 RPM, but there's no need for that. This airplane normally does when it's cleaned up, polished up about 127. Indicated airspeed, we're at 2500 feet. We're crewing right now at 130, and you can see the airspeed about 126 here, 127 there. Now, if we ran it up to uh, 2900 RPM, she'll normally do about one. 55, the airplane is going, just going to keep it pointed right at that cloud there. Not even going to bother to look at the ball. And the nose is going to start bobbing. See the nose start to bob? Right around 47 to 48 knots. There's the stall. Boy, that's pretty ugly. If you want to see what it's like with the flaps down, let's just go ahead and lower the flaps. There are folks that say, well, that Europa, it's a high-performance airplane. This thing flies in the pattern like a Cessna 150, except better. And I'm just going to slow it right down. We're about 55. Oops, I'm in a bit of a descent. I'm going to pull the nose up. This is going to aggravate the stall a little bit. There's 50. In a little bit of a descent, I'm sorry. And the nose is starting to bobble up and down a little bit. Bobble, bobble, bobble. The air, oh, suddenly the stick forces are getting light. And the airplane wants to break. And there it is. Not even going to bother to go to full power. Now the problem with Europa, if you get the nose down, this thing picks up speed like lightning. So we're just going to keep her down around 2,500 RPM. In the descent, keep those cylinders nice and warm. We don't want to freeze those front cylinders too much. Looking for a thousand feet. I like to be on downwind at 80 knots. Why? Because flap lowering speed is 83. I don't have to do anything. I'm 
an old fighter pilot, so you dirty the airplane up for beating the touchdown point. It's standard operating procedure, and I still do that yet today. So we'll be flying a full flap, full stop approach here. Carburetor heat's coming out. Approaching downwind. And City, 159, Hotel Romeo, downwind, runway 10, full stop. Carburetor heats out, pull her back, about 1600 RPM. Beam the touchdown point, 80 knots, flaps coming down. No slower than 75, please. Lower the nose. No sense staying up here. Flaps don't look like they're all the way down. There we go. Left quartering headwind. Start bringing around the turn. Plant City, 159, Hotel Romeo, left face. Gear down, full stop, 10. 75 in the final turn. Yeah, your rope is a real man killer. So check in final. It's clear. Nobody else on the radio. Now these airplanes are capable of side slipping even with full flaps. Do a beautiful job of getting down. So sun down. Going to look for about 70 on final. At the rollout. 65 is what I'm looking for for power and speed coming down final. 67. Remember, we're going to pick up a little bit of crosswind and a little bit of turbulence. 62. Clear of the trees now, coming down into the landing grid. Throttle's coming back to idle. Right down into ground effect. Once in ground effect, just hold the airplane on. There's that turbulence. Just going to hold the nose up. Turn off here is about 1,800 feet, 1,900 feet down the runway, so we're just going to turn off right here. Carburetor heat's coming in. Yeah, we got a humpy tire. After landing, 5-9 Hotel Romeo, clear of the active taxi to Park Plant City.